this video we will see how we can actually use uh, CSS selector uh, to inspect uh, element from website and then we can use that concept to automate using selenium python so at first this is our practice test uh, if you don't know how to go there i'm showing you so if you are in the home page just go to testing and after testing there is selenium practice uh, if you click there then you will find this page so we will actually try to check uh, like this element uh, how we can inspect this element using the css selector okay in the previous tutorials we saw how we can select elements uh, based on id then name and then export now we will you see how we can use css selector so at first what we have to do we have to inspect this element we can inspect element uh, by right clicking and then uh, click on inspect and one more thing i am using google chrome browser and this is chrome developer tool uh, i will use this thing uh, to inspect this thing all the concepts of this tutorial are similarly applicable to firefox or opera or some other browser also it's similar okay not same but similar okay so this is the inspected element uh, which we previously inspected uh, but here we will inspect by using css selector so at first click here uh, this developer tool and then it will be uh, this type of color from this white to like a light blue color and then go to there and click here and then it is showing you uh, this is the line which is actually drawing this thing okay or drawing this element on the html page okay so now here uh, uh, in this video we will not go much more deep but we will use some tool to use the css selector so what we can do we can right click uh, based on the element which we want to inspect and then after that we have to go copy and from the copy uh, there is one option uh, it is called copy selector so we just need to select it or click it okay and then uh, from this step hold command key or control key and press f and the search box will be appeared and just put it here right click and paste just paste here okay and it will show me uh, that uh, this line is highlighting that means we are able to select by this CSS selector uh, this line okay so now let's go to the code uh, let's see from the code we can actually uh, automate this part or not that means we can trace this element or not so I am in the PyCharm editor and what I will do first I will select one thing like HTML ID and I will copy uh, that one and copy and then after that we will paste it here right click and then paste and let me change the name because we are using css selector right so we'll type css selector so this is our python file name okay so i'm going to close everything and we'll open on the css selector this one okay and what we have to do first so here uh, this is the import statement if we click here it will expand and then uh, at first we need to change the class name because here we are not uh, inspecting the id okay so what we can do we will some uh, refactor here so what we have to do we have to select this thing and then right click and then uh, choose refactor and just click on rename okay so this is basically on css selector so i'm typing css selector but you are free to write any name but for our easy understanding we typed it here and after clicking the refactor you will see the changes here and here in this uh, case uh, we actually try to create an object but it will change everywhere from the code because we are using refactor but if you want to rename then we have to change it manually one by one okay so if you want to change manually then if there is like 10 different items uh, 10 times if you use this thing you have to change all the 10 items manually but if you refactor then on change it will reflect all the 10 different items or more okay so just click there to see the changes so we are saying that it changed everything I mean the class name and this is a test method and here also we can change it we don't need so we can also refactor this thing uh, okay make it simple right uh, right click and then refactor then rename and just uh, keep the method name like or function name like test okay and then select refactor then this method name and this method name it will be changed just click there and it is giving us this type of warning so what we have to do there is two button one is cancel and do refactor so it is suggesting that there is this method and there is another reference this this case so do you want to refactor both of them uh, yes we want to so we have to click on do refactor and it will change everything and once the refactor is done then you will see that the method name it changed both of the cases okay now let's check the code so this is the method uh, or function uh, which we will call so the base url it remains same because we are the same page 
and it is calling the web driver and then after that it is opening that url now we now we don't need this line uh, we can remove this thing and build our own thing so let's define on variable like the variable name is like element yearly am I am typing shortly element yearly element uh, then by then CSS okay I just type like this way and let it make it a small case CSS okay and then after that what we can do we can use driver object dri driver dot and find so here we are using CSS selector so we have to use this thing find element by CSS selector so just double click here and it will be automatically finish and then inside it we have to put quote single quote uh, two times and inside it we have to put the CSS selector name so let's go to the uh, browser and this is our CSS selector name right so right click then copy and copy selector and it will be copied and then we can minimize this thing because we don't need it anymore and then we can put it here okay and here also we need to change because right now we uh, change the variable name so i'm going to copy and i'm re replacing this thing and also replacing this thing okay so in this way we can do and uh, let's make it five seconds then after that there will be one space new line because it is uh, pycharm which is giving me this type of error so now it will be there will be no warning okay so this is the code basically uh, we change this thing driver dot find element by css selector and then we use uh, the selector name okay now let's run this thing we can run by this triangle or right click and then run on this file okay and it will open the chrome browser and once it is opened then it is going to the url and then finally it is able to inspect this element and after five seconds it will be closed so it is closed and we are seeing that process finished with exit zero that means there is no error it exits successfully and found id element basically this is not id element uh, this is actually uh, css selector element okay but we forgot to uh, basically to change it okay so we can change it find uh, css selector element okay selector element and then this is the object that means uh, the css selector object so let me run, run whether it is working properly or not and let's check whether it is printing this thing or not so right click and then run this thing and it will open the browser and is going to the browser and then after five seconds it will automatically close because we put five seconds uh, sleep time so we are seeing that this code executed successfully and it is able to inspect that element by using the css selector and here is the uh, details that it is found it found uh, that element and this is the element details and it gives us exit zero that means the code is successfully that's all for this video i hope that you are able to use uh, the css selector thing uh, this is the primarily very basic idea we use some tool like the chrome developer tool but in the later video we will see how we can make this thing uh, like custom css selector type of thing okay um, so thank you guys for this for watching this video and if you have any question please put in the comment section and if you feel this video is useful for you or if you like this video please hit the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel uh, thank you for watching see you on the next video